So in Poland, the number of pharmacies selling iodine more than doubled, according to what the friggin' hell is that, Joanne? Good Sipolik. It's called Good Sipolik. That's P L. Good Sipolik. G D Z I P. No, G D Z I E P O L E K. Dot P L. Joanne, how would you say that? Yeah, that's that's what I say. Good Sipolik. It's Good Sipolik. Dot P L. I nailed it, Joanne. You're trying to make me feel bad. Anyway, a Polish website that patients find the nearest pharmacy with a drug they are seeking. They just have to figure out how to spell good Polak. But when they do it, they could figure out where the, the closest pharmacy is. By the time they figured out how to spell good Polak, they could have found a freaking pharmacy. They could have walked around and found the, the pharmacy. You know? Seven hours later. What was it again? Good C? Is it Gitsy? Was it Gitsy Polak? They're doing it. Trying to fit. I'm like, dude, just freaking put. You're like the remote guy. There's the TV right there. Instead of getting up to freaking push the TV, I'm, like, I'm going to go up a channel. Where's the remote? Where's the remote? You walk around 14 minutes looking for the freak remote. Could gone over and push the channel up. That's you, right? Gutsy Pollock. I got to find the Gutsy Pollock. Dude, there's a pharmacy. I know it. Just get out, take a walk three blocks. All these, you do a circle, a three block perimeter. You're finding at least three pharmacies. We're in freaking Poland. What are you talking about over here? You think we're talking one pharmacy? We're stocked up to the gills, pharmacy style. I got to do Gutsy Pollock. You see the same guy? You know, he's got freaking cobwebs. He's trying to figure it out still. <laughs> Died of a nuclear blast. <laughs> oh, my good. You should have gone outside, found the Gutsy Bullock. You do fit. You get in there. You got your iodine. You're home already. I'm still looking for Gutsy Bullock. You know, Joanne, it's amazing how many people will take the route of Gutsy Pollock over just doing a little exercise, too. I mean, we're talking 2022, CV19. Most people are home in their basements. Go outside, take a walk around, right? You go find Gutsy Pollock. No, 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 no. Not for this guy. Pfft. He's on there still trying to figure it out. He's on DuckDuckGo. He's binging it. He's like, wait, maybe if I go to Bing and I put type in like Gutsy Pollock in like my way, they'll get it and they'll give me the correct spelling. No, I'm sorry. They start saying things like, good to see you, Paul. Like, what? You know, that's the problem when um, when you pick the worst freaking name in history for a website. And you say, guys, all you have to do is come to our website and find the closest pharmacy. How about you just go with like, I don't know, pharmacy.com.pl. Oh, we're in Poland, so we're going to go with PL. Good. Then go with, good see, Pollock ain't working. All right. We just hold on. We're gonna check real quick. This is how we do Google Internet analytics. We're just seeing how the website t traffic is doing at Goodsee Pollock. Oh, Goodsee, yeah, they've got negative traffic. I don't even know that's possible. They're on Joanne. They've got. They're in the red. They're in the red on internet traffic. People must not be either wanting to go to Goodsee Pollock to get their pharmacy locations, or people just freaking have no idea how to spell it. I'm leaning on number two. I'm leaning on number two. No, Joe, Joanne, you don't lean on anything. You know, Joanne leaning on something with the humongocarditis. Mm, you're talking major issues. You're talking about calling like the services. We go, she's falling. She can't get up. She's putting the, pushing the button, but it was on 3G, which is no longer. So it's, it just connects to nothing. I got to get on the line and call and, and get someone on the phone and be like, what are you doing for Joanne's humongocarditis? That's really the only way we can continue on in 2022. Guys, so back to the story here with Goodsey Pollock. If you want to, you know, go and check it out and see how this, you know, what you can get and the closest pharmacy to you, goodseepollock.pl. By Menon. You know, Joanne, I wonder if By Menon will throw a little money at a campaign to give a, a bigger voice to Goodsey Pollock. You know. Because they're doing it. I mean, they're, they've got the information. All you got to do is get to it, you know? You get there, you're freaking golden. You got every freaking pharmacy there is. Just got to find it. It's like a fire. It's like you're, it's like you're wanting to f figure out you're on flat earth, right? And you see the ice wall. And you're like, I'm just going to go over the ice wall. Good luck. You're there forever trying to get over that freaking ice wall. <laughs> 
But here, Gutsy Pollock, same thing. You know, you've tried every spelling possible, and it just gets you nowhere. You know. Anyway, I think you still you went you died still trying to figure it out. Like the last words, they were like, "Oh, it's Jonathan, you were such an amazing human being, and thank you so much for t raising this your children and this family, and and providing the life to me, and and we love you more than anything in this world." And is there anything you want to say to us? You know, we know this is your final word, your final breath. How oh, the freaking hell do you spell Gutsy Pollock? Dead. Poor guy. It's on his gravestone. Could never find Gutsy Pollock. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Ah, Joanne, when you do a, you know, a bit and it just keeps going. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What are you doing? Gutsy Paul licking it. Mm. Radiation levels at Chernobyl have increased, but they're still low enough to not pose a hazard. Oh, my goodness. Internal data on our website shows that interest of iodine increased around 50 times since last Thursday, said Bartolomej Achnajewarek. I didn't get that one right, Joanne. Let's try it one more time. Bartolomej, 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 Bartolomej Oxarek. Bartlemage Oxarek. There we go. That's it. I nailed it. Final time. Uh, Joanne on Thursday said Bartlalamage. <laughs> what? Bartlamage? What the freaking hell is that, Joanne? Stop pushing the teleprompter. I'm trying to read a name. This is a weird one. Bartlamage. Said Bartlamage Oxarek. He's the website's co founder. Are you freaking kidding me? That's why. Holy freaking cow! Bartlemage is the one who came up with Goodsy Pollock, and you want to figure out how the hell you got the Goodsy Pollock in the first place? The guy who created it, the guy who's the co-founder, has the worst name in history. Bartlemage Oxarik is the one who came up with Goodsy Pollock. Mm, you can't even freaking write this stuff, Joanne. You can't write this type of comedy. Are you kidding me? Uh, buh, 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 buh. How could never find your stupid website, Bart Lemage? Freaking Bart Lemage got like a, a an award in Poland too for the website because he sent them the link. They were able to click the link and get to the freaking Bart Lemage, you know, general, you know, community area and good see Pollock. And once they were there, they were sharing links. Oh, guys, look at this website. Here's a copy and paste. When they just told people go to good see Pollock, it was a freaking over. Went into the dumpster the next day. Dump, dumpster foot mm, right there. Guys, I'm sorry. This is what you, you need to understand the truth of the world. When your name is Bart Lemage, Waxaric, and you create a website called goodseepolick.pl. And then you have a freaking news story about you. I'm sorry. You need to get slammed in the freaking face. What are we talking about? Bartlemage? Nobody freaking ever went to your website. We can't figure it out. We walked and found a pharmacy. Thanks, though. Thank you for creating a website that's pointless because your <laughs> website is, is impossible. I want to, can you guys, I'm going to just put this in so you can look at this. I'm not sure if you can see this on the screen. I think you can. I just highlighted it. <laughs> G-D-Z-I-E Pollock, P-O-L-E-K dot P-L. What the freaking heck are we talking about over here? You know what I mean? Goodsy Pollock? <laughs> it's unreal. <sighs> I think I'm done with the story, Joe, and we got enough of Goodsy Pollock. I mean, that's the story right there. That is the bit. There's nothing else needed. You and you get a Goodsy Pollock. What am I seeing over here? Is that? Oh, yeah, that's that. There, there we go. It's a little better. Not really. Ah, who cares? Guys, when you're Goodsy Pollock, Pollocking it, and you get the answers of all answers, you know, and it's from, I would say, the gods, right? Seriously, that was crazy. That was just totally crazy. 
Let's see, Pollock. Why do they keep giving me a background like this? You know what I mean, Joanne? I ask you for a solid news story. I want to do it. I want to come in and read it. Not have to have concerns of what the freaking heck is on the screen because I can't see. You know what I mean? And you're doing the I can't see on the screen thing. Such a Bush League, you know, program director. When you came on the job and you told me you'd do it, I didn't expect that this is what you meant by doing it, like that you do it horribly. Ukraine says a plot to assassinate President Vladimir Zelensky was foiled by Russian spies who were secretly working against Vladimir Putin. They were Putin in a plot to take out Zelensky. Zelensky not related to Dan Aykroyd's character in Tommy Boy. Some people just need to understand that because they'll be like, oh, I think that's Tommy Boy's cousin. No, no, I'm sorry. Not related. Not related to Dan Aykroyd. But we're doing it. Um, so anyway, we're here. We're getting into this story, which is about Vladimir Putin. Look, you have to guard the Vladimir Putin. You get the nuclear blast. Look, okay, I got to get the uh, iodine. So what's this with iodine? Never heard this before. Let's see what the story is. Russia's invasion of Ukraine and Vladimir Putin's comments that Moscow's nuclear deterrent is on high alert have unleashed a wave of anxiety in Central Europe, with people rushing to buy iodine, which they believe may protect from radiation. Have you guys heard this before? Joanne, did you know about this with the radiation that you could do an iodine and just be good? <laughs> Let's see. From Poland to uh, Bulgaria, people living in the former Soviet-era satellite states have also jammed passport offices, topped up their fuel tanks, and prepared to leave at a moment's notice. Others inquired about joining the military. In the past six days, Bulgarian pharmacies have sold as much iodine as they sell for a year, said Nikolai Kostov. Chair of the Pharmacies Union. Some pharmacies are already out of stock. We have to get more. We know we have to order the new quantities, but I'm afraid that this would not last very long. No. We have to drink vodka instead. I, Joanne, they're drinking vodka instead of iodine? Is that, is that, is that work? Is that? Oh, no, they just like to get drunk, she said. I get it. It's a bit mad, said Marislava Stankova, a representative of Dr. Max Pharmacies. I'll tell you what, that freaks me out. You imagine if you bought yours from a Dr. Max. I'm getting everything to the max at Dr. Max. You can't just get a normal prescription. We freaking take it to the max. What are you talking about? You want to come down and order from Dr. Max and then get like the, I don't know, you want to call it like the light version? Oh, we wanted to see if we could just get like a, a, a small dose. A small dose? No, we max the friggin' hell out of it here at Dr. Max. Oh, they gave us a 30 mil? We do 930 mil here. Multiply. You just have to break it off into little pieces. You don't want to have too much. They're to the max. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, can you go, sir? This is my prescription. Oh, yeah, what do we got? Uh, 10 milligrams of codeine? No worries. We take that to the friggin' max. What do you mean by that? 60 milligrams. Oh, really? By Menon. By Max, by Dr. Max, actually. Dr. Max Pharmacies in Czech Republic, where some stores had run out of iodine after its demand soared. Iodine taken as pills or syrup is considered a way of protecting the body against conditions such as thyroid cancer in case of radioactive exposure. See, that's interesting. I had no idea about that, that you could take iodine and be protected. Let's read a little more. In 2011, Japanese authorities recommended that people around the site of the damaged Fukushima nuclear power plant take iodine. Officials in the region have recognized the demand, but cautioned iodine is not necessarily in the situation, the current situation, and would not help in case of nuclear war. So basically, like, if they drop in them bombs, no good. Iodine's good if you like they have a leak. You know, you got a nuclear leak, power plant style. Okay, you take some freaking iodine, you're good to go. You got a nuclear blast, Vladimir Putin style? Hey, I drop the button, everybody die. You get that? No good. I'm sorry. You don't want to get involved with a Russian force as Chernobyl nuclear power plant thing, and you're trying to be like, I took some iodine. <laughs> okay, see you on the other side, buddy. Whew, no good on that one. Seven eyes, you got a freaking goiter that comes out over here. You know, you're doing it though. You're still, you're still kicking along. <laughs> you sound like Joanne wheezing. We we brought you in for a, a you know a, 
a guest piece. Wanted to have a little conversation, a little one-on-one here, Renaissance man style. And the family was getting confused. They thought that you were Joanne. That's how bad, you know what I mean? That's how bad the radiation levels were, Chernobyl style. <clears throat> so in Poland, the number of pharmacies selling iodine more than doubled, according to what the friggin' hell is that, Joanne? Good supply. 